the Forty OT podcast. I've been going through a big ordeal with university, um, mm-hmm. and I'm actually I'm, I'm I'm situated at BCU, but the course itself is situated at my college. No, I've got mm-hmm. you know before you go to uni, and I don't think a lot of autistic individuals that would even want to you know that want to consider uni don't actually know what benefits that they could get from going to university yeah. and and that really aggravates me and it's not like set out in like no, a path that yeah, you can just man. go down yeah nah and when <laughs> you gotta search uh, and, out and mm-hmm. ask people and, and when get yeah around so everywhere. <laughs> at the start of the year but just before i started uni we you get assessed you know for your needs mm-hmm. and i mean the assessment was so hard for me i can't do talking to people about you know i don't know how to explain it i can't be speaking to people that i don't really know or you know when you know something's official for for me when you know that that thing's really important it puts the pressure on me even more and just makes the whole yeah. thing even more of overwhelming and i got assessed for my support and i got all of my support put in place and then at the start of the year we go to uni it's strike and as you can imagine there's no delivery on lectures it's then half term comes mm. up with until we've got an assignment i didn't know i got stuff like automatic two-week extensions you know because of my fluctuating yeah. um, circumstances college has been a real support unit for me at the same time and i thought that going there as uni would benefit me because I really wanted to go away. I thought I need to find some sort of independence. Sure. But obviously things don't always turn out how I expect. And I went for a, a massive ordeal in the summer and that just put on hold. Mm. Well, actually it wasn't that. It just wasn't being in a good place, you know, yeah. and it not being right to go and take yourself away. You know, when you go through these episodes and then we get a little bit better and then we're advised you know we don't want to push you too far we want you to still be good and to for you to still be able to deliver basically and so I was saying about these extensions they were all in place and my tutors just didn't acknowledge the change in my behavior in terms of you know my physical appearance they were aware just before breaking up that I was struggling massively with my with my mental health and you know I was absolutely assured that everything was just going to be okay and that the support was going to be there and in place yeah and my my tutors didn't even read any of these you know support statements didn't even tell me about my extensions didn't tell me that my handouts are meant to be given to me so many different things it got to a point where it become very confrontational yeah and they're quite mean and there's been times where you know i'm i'm a very respectful person and i've known Mm -hmm. these tutors for eight years you know i've I've been there a long time i've I've studied a lot i love studying (laughs) and they know me they they know i see these people as family and for them to not, you know, you know, if I was, you know, teaching is something that I want to do and I've, I've, I've done teaching programs and gone and taught music and done some workshops and mm-hmm. that was great. That's cool. And I, yeah, but really seeing these people as a family, I still do. I still have a lot of respect for them. I'm just, just hurt because a lot of the stuff with uni has just really impacted on all of my the business stuff you know Mm. it's prevented me from marketing it's prevented me to you know be able to just dedicate the time that i know that my project is worth um but yeah if i had a student you know that had additional needs and i noticed a change in their behavior especially if i knew them to begin with my first thought would be i need to go and find this child support plan Mm. this student support plan because something's not right here 
Hey up YouTube, hope you have enjoyed this podcast clip so far. If you want to check out the full episode, you can find it here on my YouTube channel under the podcast section, or you can go to Spotify, Apple, Google to check it out on different podcasting streaming services. If you have enjoyed this video thus far, please make sure to like, perhaps drop me a subscribe if you want to see some more content from me, and drop a comment down below, even if it's something simple like an emoji or a, or a heart. Uh, it really does help satisfy those big, YouTube algorithm gods in the sky. Anyway, I'll let you go back to it. And we were talking earlier about, you know, relapsing and all of that. And that's just kind of where I'm at with everything right now. University can be really tough. Like, yeah, it really is. I had, I had pretty much like these two, two or three issues like throughout the year. Like, you, we could talk about the specifics about like, how they communicate during like exams and stuff being just completely like uncertain about what they want from me. Um, is, I mean, I was, I was really fortunate that I made a link with one of the student support officers when I was at uni and they were kind of like, they're pretty much like the H the HR of the university. And they were so they were so supportive and anytime that I had any issues I could kind of go in and chat to this person. She was called Joanne. Um she sadly so she sadly passed away just before I, I, I graduated, but she was very sort of integral to keeping me afloat during those times. And I think if I didn't have her, I'd I don't think I would have been able to Yeah sort of cope with university. I really get that. I have those people around me, Lisa and Amanda, welfare, yeah. uh, welfare and mental advisors. Um, we have like a student services at the college and they've known me since I was really, really young. I mean, I don't know. I, yeah. did, a, I did a talk with some um, SEN students last summer um, for those that were, you know, looking to join the college and they shown the video, of, you know, the cat TV yeah, uh, where mm -hmm. I teamed up with Aaron and Anna, um, and yeah, they she saw that video and she's just without you know she cried at seeing this video. She's just like, wow, you've come such a long way, and I know that none of that would have it wouldn't have been possible without the support of any of them, you know. Sure. And I think for for we need them kind of units, and if we don't have them units things just aren't possible.